one of the VPC member ports fails. VPC primary and secondary peers remain no change in roles. So the primary will still primary, secondary will keep the secondary role without an issue. Results in bandwidth reduction, but the connected device is still able to forward traffic using the other link. Here we have switch 3, lost the connection with the switch 2. So switch 3 still have connection to switch 1, link to switch 1 in order to forward its traffic. Keep alive port down. VPC peer keep alive link failure, link loss for example. VPC peer link is up. No VPC role change, primary still primary, secondary the same, no change. Status of the other VPC peer is known by the peer link. Both peers are forwarding. Active state. No downtime in the network. VPC peer keep alive lost, nothing will happen. VPC peer link is up, everything is good. Now VPC link failures. First scenario when we have the peer link failure while keep alive link is up. Keep alive is up, the status of the other VPC peer is known by the keep alive. Secondary VPC peer disables all VPC member ports. Traffic flows over the VPC primary only in this case. The point here, the peer switch can still know the status of the other switch via the peer keep alive link. Traffic from orphan devices connected to secondary will be black holed. This is important to consider not to connect orphan devices in the secondary peer. The other case where we have a VPC peer link failure and the keep alive already down. Result dual active or split brain scenario. This is a very bad scenario. VPC primary remains in primary role and VPC secondary becomes operational primary. Result in traffic loss and uncertain traffic behavior. When links are restored, the operational primary, former secondary, keeps the primary role and the former primary becomes operational secondary. Other failure scenarios. Power outage with node failure problem. Power outage on both peers. Only one peer is restored. VPC peer keep alive never comes up because the other one still down, right? Means VPC peer link can never come up because it relies on the keep alive. Means VPC member ports can never come up and servers are isolated. Another case, the gradual failure problem case. VPC peer link goes down. VPC secondary pings VPC primary and gets response. VPC secondary disables VPC member ports. VPC primary completely fails. This is really unlucky scenario. VPC secondary doesn't reactivate member ports and servers are isolated. So how can we fix this? The answer is using VPC auto recovery feature. VPC auto recovery feature allows the secondary peer to detect the previously mentioned failure scenarios. VPC primary is continually tracked over VPC peer keep alive. So the secondary will keep tracking the primary over the keep alive link. If peer link is down on secondary switch, three consecutive missing peer keep alives will trigger auto recovery. Peer keep alive failure at later time results in secondary promoting itself to primary role. Secondary reactivate its member port by passing consistency check. We configure the feature using auto recovery command. I hope that was clear and useful. Thank you for watching.